Chinese code goddess Wang Xiaoyun continuously decrypted two of the top U.S. codes to fill the blanks of our country's code and won a reward of 7.11 million yuan. As a superpower, the United States often claims that the safest and most advanced codes in the world need a million years to be decrypted. But I didn't expect a Chinese woman to suddenly decrypt it during the month. She is Wang Xiaoyun. As if nothing had happened, she shook the entire code world. In order to encourage her, the national reward of 7.11 million yuan was unprecedented in the past. Wang Xiaoyun's appearance not only made China perfect in the field of cryptography, but also made the U.S. Security Bureau feel like a big enemy. In this brilliant era, how did Wang Xiaoyun surpass the computer to complete the decryption? In most people's perception, family women are mainly working overtime to feed their children. And when people hear the name Wang Xiaoyun, they also think she is such an ordinary woman. In fact, she is not. Wang Xiaoyun was born in Zhucheng, Shandong. She has five brothers and sisters. Her father is a math teacher. Maybe she is proud of her father's talent. Wang Xiaoyun has had a strong interest in math since she was a child. When her peers were in trouble because of the difficult problems in the textbook, she was already proud and turned to other more profound problems. Maintaining her passion for math, Wang Xiaoyun has made great progress in her studies and achievements. The end of the 1983 college entrance examination, Wang Xiaoyun graduated from Shandong University's Department of Mathematics because she was good at physics. After being admitted successfully, she was willing to enter the Department of Mathematics to study and explore. At that time, she didn't know the importance of cryptography. It was just a math problem left by a close professional teacher on the blackboard. Once, a university professor set up a special homework in the class to verify a mathematical formula. This mathematical formula was proposed by Indian mathematician Ramanujan. No one in the class could prove it. Only Wang Xiaoyun could do it. She made a simple calculation and proved it very quickly. This result shocked the professor. He thought Wang Xiaoyun was a rare mathematical genius. If it was in the field of cryptography, she must have done an amazing job. So the professor talked to Wang Xiaoyun. Xiaoyun, our country is now very weak in cryptography research. You have such a talent. You can turn your research into cryptography in the field of algebra. I believe you can make a contribution to the country. The professor's words gave Wang Xiaoyun instructions. She seemed to have found an organization and found her life goal. She started her research in the field of cryptography. After graduating from this department, Wang Xiaoyun continued to stay in her alma mater to study and be a doctoral student. Unlike other people, she was in a hurry to go out to work and make money. Instead, she focused on her research. In 1993, Wang Xiaoyun graduated from her doctorate. Faced with all kinds of high-paying jobs in society, she chose to refuse and stay in her alma mater. At that time, she had realized the importance of cryptography. Under the guidance of the famous mathematician Professor Pan Chengdong, Wang Xiaoyun had obtained the code of cryptography to carry out in-depth research. In order to let students also understand cryptography, she took the initiative to bring basic knowledge into the classroom and integrate it into the professional course to let students absorb it. In addition, in order to facilitate her own research on cryptography, Wang Xiaoyun bought a computer, a laser printer, and a scanning machine. These devices were not cheap in the 1990s. For this reason, Wang Xiaoyun did not hesitate to spend all her family's money. At the age of 30, she never thought about whether she could achieve anything, and she did it regardless. If it were anyone else, Wang Xiaoyun may not have been able to get out or be able to bear the boredom of studying cryptography. 
but Wang Xiaoyun overcame it. She used love and concentration to arrange the numbers of Fave into a string of algorithms. To break through one problem after another, on August 17, 2004, Wang Xiaoyun took a lot of information at the U.S. Congress of Cryptography and stood on the podium. In English with a slight accent, it is said that there is a loophole in MD5's international cryptography algorithm. At the beginning of this speech, Wang Xiaoyun put a heavy bomb in the crowd. Experts from all over the world began to sit still and dare not discuss confidently. Is the password that has troubled the world for many years cracked by a Chinese person? The other party is still a Chinese woman. It should be known that the MD5 and SHA1 issued by the U.S. Department of Technology are the safest and most advanced passwords in the world. If you use the conventional algorithm, it takes a computer to calculate a million years to crack it. How many people want to crack MD5? How many people take this as their lifelong pursuit and dream? Wang Xiaoyun easily cracked it. How is that possible? Experts on the spot did not believe it and even questioned it. In the face of everyone's questions, Wang Xiaoyun calmly gave an answer. No problem, don't worry. To verify the algorithm, Wang Xiaoyun tested it with the famous mathematician Bi Ham. From the first step to the last step, the fact proved that Wang Xiaoyun was right. He did crack the MD5. The applause was thundering on the spot. Everyone dared not believe that this Chinese woman really cracked the MD5 that has troubled the cryptography world for a long time. In the eyes of outsiders, Wang Xiaoyun's crack of MD5 is another breakthrough in the field of cryptography. But the U.S. Department of Security doesn't think so. They removed MD5 from use and replaced it with SHA1. They thought it was hard to crack. But I didn't expect that, at the World RSA Conference in just six months, Wang Xiaoyun once again announced that the SHA1 has a loophole and has been cracked with the hard-to-break encryption fortress. This operation directly rubbed off the U.S. bottom. They stopped all calculations of MD5 and SHA1, and it's not in use for five years. In this age of high-speed technological development, encryption is very important to a country. Defense without encryption is equivalent to no defense line on the border. Wang Xiaoyun's strength made him a hot expert in the cryptography world. What a genius mathematician, the most powerful Chinese academician in the cryptography goddess, Wang Xiaoyun won the award. Especially a technology award, the prize is up to 7.11 million yuan. For others, it's something they don't even dare to think about. At that time, Wang Xiaoyun was sitting at home for months. When others sit for months, the most important thing is to rest. She can lie down and never sit down. But Wang Xiaoyun is different. In addition to accompanying his daughter, she also keeps calculating. The most terrible thing about sitting for months is that it's tiring, excessive use of eyes. But Wang Xiaoyun doesn't care at all. Sometimes he has hypoglycemia and dizzy eyes. She still doesn't want to stop. He keeps calculating. In addition to his passion for work, she's also a person who loves life. The floor of the house will be dragged up two or three times a day. The balcony is full of flowers. The only thing she cares about is the frill. She gives light to everything. The best time for me to study is also the best time to do housework. It can be seen that doing housework can help Wang Xiaoyun think about the problems in research. As a crypto scientist, she has a woman's side of the family. She focuses on excellence. This is rare at any time. It's not easy to do. Sometimes people's views on women are often too partial. They think that between family and work, it is best for women to choose the family. In fact, 
this perception is wrong. Women can also take care of their families. In the field of work, shine and heat become the brightest star. Five years after the discovery of MB, Wang Xiaoyun led a team to design the first SM3 algorithm based on Hashi function in China. SM3 algorithm is different from MB5 and SHA1. It is highly secure. The communication encryption used by China's aerospace engineering applies to this algorithm. In addition, some financial systems and power systems in China also use the SM3 algorithm. It is a security guard for our country's system. In the column, Wang Xiaoyun told the host that all the mathematical models and hundreds of equations are pushed out by hand. The efficiency of his own calculation is the same as the efficiency of the computer calculation. It can be said that the efficiency is very high. When the popularity rises, the number of institutions that invite Wang Xiaoyun to work is countless. But Wang Xiaoyun, who sees the code as the backbone of the country, how could she be moved? She refused all of them. She chose to stay in his motherland. She fought hard for his career. I will continue to go on with this responsibility. I have confidence. A country wants to go to the world in research. There must be a responsible, technical, and credible researcher. And these advantages are reflected in Wang Xiaoyun. The progress of mankind lies in continuous learning and exploration. I believe that in the near future, Wang Xiaoyun will lead the young intellectuals of our country to break through more obstacles and make progress.